I'm out here with Mark Steele in Jack's Beach, Florida. We're out here fishing for whiting, pompano, and red drum. We are a few miles north of the Ponte Vedra border, and there he is with the first cast. Mark, would you like to explain your uh, rig to the people out there on YouTube? See here, we got a frozen block of clams. He's cut them into small strips. I take some uh, fish bites, orange clam flavor, cut them into little chunks, and I put those on the hook. And I wait. Sometimes not very long. Sometimes longer than I care. Have had? Have you had some good success with this type of uh, fishing tactics in the past? Let's get one more cast on that rig you got there. So you're putting this clam on the hook or are you using just the fish bites by themselves? Fish bite and clam combination. I believe the fish bites bring a little color that draws the fish, kind of representing uh, sand fleas. Okay. One of the most important parts of beach fishing like this is tending your lines. It's not easy, especially for an amateur, to tell the difference between a wave hitting and an actual fish. So right now what we're doing is we're just sitting here and we're waiting on a fish to strike. And as you can see right now, the waves are moving the tips of the rod. So for a novice angler, it's easily to be confused between a wave and an actual strike. So what I'm doing right here, I'm just sitting and I'm waiting on a strike. And I'll show you when we actually get one, the difference between a wave and a fish. Kick, we got him. We got him, and it should be a nice size. I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect more than 10 inches, but for the type of fishing we're doing here, that's really all you can ask for. Oh, there he comes. And as I predicted, it is a whiting. It's a little bit more size than we've been seeing earlier but uh, still not too substantial a fish. Miss Mark Steele's here with a fish on himself. He's been too busy uh, helping his, uh, his co-fisherman out here that uh, this is his first one for himself. Just got through a bout of seagulls. Um, it's another whiting, another larger one. So that's, a, that's quite a good specimen. That's our second, second large whiting in a row. Here we go, we're gonna let him go. Got another one on here. Had a nice little pull right there in the surf, but should be getting it in soon. There it is, another little whiting. That's what we've been pulling in all day long. Nothing with real any real size, but no pretty fish. Got a little bit nicer fish on right now. Put kicking a little bit. We'll see. And let's see if we can't. It is a whiting, a biggest one of the day. So for these type of fish, this is um, definitely one of the bigger ones you'll see out here. That's a nice one. Looks like we got another one right here. Rocking uh, two strikes at one time. Fishing terms, we call this a double header. So uh, at this point, anything could really happen. So you can see down the beach, my father has a nice arch in his rod. I feel like I may be pulling in another uh, small whiting, but oh, there was a nice little, nice little run right there, if you want to call it that. This could be a little bit bigger fish. And I have pulled in one that was actually smaller than I had originally predicted. Here you can see we have a strike. Dad, go get it. I'm going to have my father reel this one in, but as you can see, the tip of the rod, it's much more of a erratic bounce than it would be if it were to be just a wave. 
And that's, that's the key, is the erraticness. Because you got to think, the waves... Oh, we might have another one. Oh, it's lines are crossed. Oh, he actually looks like we might have a decent fish on his pole. Looks like that might be the biggest whiting of the day, but mine's also not too shabby. That's a fat one. What would you estimate that at? 14, 15 inches? Is it two side by side? Got another whiting coming off a pretty slow streak. They were pretty hot earlier, but uh, slowed down quite a bit. Looks to be a double header of whiting on one pole. You don't see that every day. Got another one on right here. See what it is. It's fighting a little bit harder than the last one did. A little bit more shoulders per se. I can't see it. It's a drum. Right here, the previous fish we had was a Atlantic kingfish or whiting as they're locally called. This right here is a black drum.